So from, from Harvard Business School, where did your career go from there? Um, so I really wanted to get in something entrepreneurial. And, and um, I ended up, uh, it was 1991, um, and you know, we had a recession going on at the time, and it was hard to find those perfect jobs. But I ended up working for a uh, consulting firm that focused on smaller and middle market businesses. And I thought, what a great chance to go see a bunch of different industries and learn about different businesses and uh, work with entrepreneurs and presidents of companies right at that level and just kind of see the triumphs and tribulations they go through in trying to grow their businesses. And I uh, joined a firm out of Boston. And um, But about six months later, my boss there came to me and said, hey, uh, we can do this better and we can focus more on helping companies grow. We were kind of the marketing and strategy and sales oriented folks on that team. And the rest of the organization was mostly about cost efficiencies and financial restructurings, et cetera, for more broken companies. And so we went off on our own and uh, I was naive again, naive enough, but uh, aggressive enough to, to make that leap. And so started this consulting firm with him as my partner and, and uh, did that for about five or six years and lots of trials and, and had some successes. And we opened a couple of offices in, in different parts of the country serving these types of um, clients, but never really knew how to run a business, frankly, and um, didn't have any capital base and uh, totally lived revenue to uh, revenue each week. And, and long story short, at one point, we kind of outgrew our, our coverage, if you will, and our client base uh, shriveled up. And all of a sudden, we were left with much larger expenses than we had revenues coming in. And um, we ended up having to close down the business. So what was, what was a nice run and, and was a journey that I really enjoyed ended up with um, real disappointment in that um, something I'd spent five years building, all of a sudden we had to close and kind of restart. And uh, really, a, really a, a, a big challenge in my life at the time. We were expecting our first child at that point. And um, a lot of my friends were really starting to hit their stride in their careers. And, and here I was uh, having a business that didn't work and frankly had failed. And um, I talk about this a little bit in my mini book too, about the importance of failure. And um, I look back at that as as a fond memory, not about what happened specifically, but about how that prepared me to be much more successful in my future endeavors. And um, sometimes failure is the best teacher, and that's where you learn the most. And I encourage people that um, having that initiative and, and that courage to move forward, sometimes it all doesn't work out perfectly according to plan. But when you study successful people, almost all of them will talk about um, many failures they've had along the way. And um, we, so we typically read about the huge successes that gets them in the papers and on TVs and things like that. But um, we rarely hear about behind the curtain, the challenges and tribulations that almost every successful person goes to to get to where they've gotten. 